When you think of eco travel or sustainable travel, you immediately think of carbon offsets, our hemp clothing, or vegan meals. Now I admit, I love my Birkenstocks and I have had some amazing vegan meals. But what if I told you being an environmentally responsible traveler is so much easier than you might think? Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christy, the Gen X Gypsy, helping you to travel better so you can focus on creating unforgettable memories. Happy Earth Day. I don't know if you guys remember those commercials that used to run with the Indian who was looking over the river that was full of trash and he had tears running down his face. I don't know, I just got so emotionally impacted by that commercial when I was young. And as much as I have tried to be through the years, I'm still not all in on being the environmentally responsible person that I wish I could be. However, I am a firm believer that every little bit helps. So today I'm sharing with you 20 easy ways that you can lighten your environmental impact when you travel. Now by no means is this an extensive list. So please share in the comments below if you know of an eco-friendly tip that I miss. We're gonna start with what I think is the easiest one and one that I think most of you guys are doing now anyway. And if you're not, it's a great place to start. And that is to carry a refillable water bottle wherever you go. Now, most airports have a water bottle filling station now. And if not, you can always use the water fountain. And when you're traveling to countries that might have questionable water, most of those motels, hotels, Airbnbs, almost always provide a big water jug for you to refill your water bottles from as well. I usually carry a Mana one like this, but I just ordered a, a collapsible water bottle to use in the future because I want to start doing my tip number two more often. The third water bottle you can carry is also a Life Straw water bottle, especially if you feel like you're going somewhere where the water quality might be a little more questionable. So on to tip number two, and that is to carry a refillable coffee mug with you. See, when you go to Starbucks in the airport, you can just have them put the coffee in your mug that you've brought with you. And the reason I want to carry a collapsible water bottle is because I want to be able to have a double hold stainless steel mug for my coffee to carry with me as well. I am totally guilty of just using the Starbucks cups or the coffee cups at whatever coffee place I go to, but I want to change that. I want to start carrying my coffee mug with me as well. And I just don't want to carry two stainless steel, big uh, clunky water bottles while I'm traveling. So I'm going to take my collapsible water bottle and a coffee mug. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily want to have water and coffee at the same time, you can always just take one coffee mug or coffee water bottle type thing and use that for both your water and your coffee. Pack your own food. Now, I just had a viewer recently comment that they did not realize they could bring their own food on an airplane. What? Yes, yes you can, and you should. It will help eliminate all that single-use plastics that you get from the fast food places in the airport or even from the packaged food that you'd be getting on the airplane. Just be aware if you're bringing anything that's a little runny or mushy like yogurt or mashed potatoes, it might get flagged by the TSA when you're going through your uh, TSA line. It is considered a liquid. As another viewer pointed out, anything that can't stand up on its own outside of packaging is probably going to be considered a liquid. So take that into consideration when you're packing your food. The best thing to pack your food for travel in are these awesome silicone Ziploc bags. They are sturdy, BPA-free, and leak proof. Not only do I use them for food, but I take one of the larger bags and I stick it in the seat back in front of me and I have that hold my things like my phone and maybe my iPad or my Kindle if I bring that with me. And I have it all in that Ziploc bag. So at the end of the flight, I can just pull that bag out of the seat back in front of me and I would know I am not leaving anything behind. 
While we're still talking about food, having a travel set of utensils is great. I love these bamboo fork spoon sets that I got years ago, but you don't have to go out and buy anything new because if you're like me, you probably have sets of plastic utensils that are given to you by fast food restaurants because they don't ask you whether you want them or not. I just shove them in a drawer. So use those plastic utensils. They're already made anyway. Just make sure that you use them over and over again until they break. So they don't have to be single use plastics. Bring a reusable straw with you. Now I'm not really much of a straw person, but there's certain cocktails like my painkillers or my Bloody Marys that I do really like to have a straw with. Now while we're in the Keys, they are using mostly paper straws for their beverages and the quality has gotten a lot better. They don't fall apart quite as quickly as they used to, but it's so much better to just bring your own stainless steel straw which isn't going to fall apart. I am trying to work on being better about remembering to bring, bring my straw with me wherever I go. Before you leave on your trip, use up all of the perishable foods in your refrigerator. And that way you're not having to throw it away and wasting food when you get home from your travels. When you are planning out your restaurants, Consider trying some vegetarian or vegan options. You can check out the app Happy Cow, which will give you all of the vegetarian and vegan options that are available in the area you're traveling. And I'm not saying eat veggie the whole time you're traveling, but there are a lot of cultures whose diets are mostly plant-based. So consider trying a few veggie meals while you're traveling. And isn't traveling all about having new experiences anyway? Try to store as many of your travel documents on your phone or in the cloud as you can. Try to avoid having to print out your boarding passes and save them on your airline's app instead, or have them saved as a photo on your phone so that they're easily retrievable even if you don't have data or Wi-Fi available. Bring a packable duffel bag, backpack, or tote bag to use for all of your shopping needs while you're traveling. And you don't have to use it just for grocery shopping. You could also use it to go out and do some souvenir shopping. And speaking of souvenir shopping, try to buy local goods that are actually made by the locals. One of my favorite things to do when traveling is to go to the farmer's markets or street markets, wherever I may be traveling. And I usually pick up some jewelry. I also got this beautiful cutting board from a little Saturday market that was up on the North shore of Hawaii one time when we were there. It's awesome. You just never know what you might find when you actually shop and buy local. Most hotels and motels will now give you the option of not having your linens changed every day to help conserve on water. It is a super easy way to make an eco-friendly choice. And you know what else is super easy? It's taking a second to click that like button. And if you know anyone else who might enjoy this information, please feel free to share it. I'd also like to take a minute to let you know that if you ever have any travel questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you follow me over on Instagram, which you should, you could also DM me your questions and I will answer them as best I can. Now let's get back to helping you become a more eco-friendly traveler. When you leave your accommodations to go out and explore or do all those fun tours that you're there to do, make sure to turn off your air conditioning and maybe turn your heat down. When you are traveling outside of the United States, especially electricity is really expensive and hard to manufacture. So you're doing a great thing for both their economy and their environment when you remember to turn off the AC or turn the heat down. Make sure when you are choosing your sunscreen that you are picking out reef safe sunscreen. And you should be using it not just when you travel to places with reefs like the Keys or Hawaii, but you should really be using it all of the time because it is way healthier for the oceans. Pack light and make sure that you bring clothing that you can mix and match with each other. I am a big fan of planning out a travel capsule wardrobe for all of my trips. And I did a whole video on how to put a travel capsule wardrobe together, which I will link in the description below so you can check it out after this video. 
Bring a laundry bag to use for your dirty clothes instead of using the plastic bag that they give you in hotels and motels. I really love the laundry bag that came with these compression packing cubes and it's the perfect size. Another little hack is to grab one of those air fresheners from the dollar store to put in that laundry bag so then it doesn't smell quite as bad when you get home. <laughs> Try to find accommodations that have laundry facilities for you to use, and that way you can bring less clothes, especially when I go like hiking and I need to have, you know, I don't wanna put on my stinky hiking clothes every single day. So if I have laundry facilities, I can wash those hiking clothes and then wear them multiple times and I don't have to pack as much. Another option is to bring something like this scrubber along, which makes washing in the sink a lot easier. It's great for locations where you might not have laundry facilities or if you're going camping. Instead of using disposable face wipes, get something like these magic eraser wipes. These are washcloths that all you have to do is add water and you can wipe off your face and it gets all of your makeup off, including your mascara. Now I got the four larger ones, but they do come in a set of 10 smaller ones that are more the size of an actual face wipe. All of the things that I have mentioned in this video so far, I will have linked in the description below. And they are all Amazon links, which I am an Amazon affiliate. You get a little, little tiny bit of commission if you order through that link and it doesn't cost you anything extra. This next one is a little more relevant if you do a lot of hiking like myself, and that is to make sure whatever you pack in, you are packing out. And this, this could also be used for any travels. Make sure you are not leaving garbage behind. Whatever you are bringing with you, make sure that you bring it out with you and you dispose of it properly. And if you're somewhere where they have a really good recycle program, make sure that you take advantage of that. Lastly, pare down on your toiletries. Decant all of those liquids into reusable silicone bottles and jars, and then carry them in a TSA approved plastic bag like the set that I've been using. If you are interested in the most efficient way to pack your liquids bag, check out this video next. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great Earth Day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.